looks icy again tonight, uh, but at least we have a little good news when it comes to the harsh values so, uh, with the wind chill. But we have slightly warmer weather coming tonight. Now, it still looks pretty frigid across much of the Midwest, so Rockford's hovering right at about minus two. Similar situation for Chicago and Lake Michigan, of course, uh, easily freezing up when we have weather this cold, but at least it's not in the 30s below zero like Fargo, North Dakota's seeing currently. We'll continue to have near zero wind chill values going into this evening. A few spots like Winnebago, Sublette, you're looking at the double digits above zero because there's not a ton of wind, and that is the uh, relief that we'll see into tonight. Some of the good news is that with the winds going calm, we don't see quite as much wind chill. So moving forward tonight, we still have temperatures below zero themselves. So, so a pretty frigid night ahead under clear conditions. But no, the wind goes calm, so we don't have that piling on to the frigid weather that we have in place. So unlike last night where we saw the teens to 20s below zero because it was fairly breezy, you can see that future track doesn't really see the wind chill changing too much later on this evening, still right around zero. Later tonight, Tonight, with winds going nearly calm, we are looking at uh, the positive digits by the time we get to tomorrow morning. So uh, we'll have our lows early in the night, and then we warm up as some slightly warmer air works into the region. Not going to see much improvement beyond that. Still feels like the single digits into tomorrow afternoon, but at least it's a little warmer than how we feel as of today. We'll go into the weekend then with uh, much warmer weather around the corner. So again, we're warming up slightly overnight, and that boosts us up to about 22 for tomorrow afternoon. We only had the mid-teens today, so this is a good 5-degree uh, rise or so. At least we're back into the 20s, and we see some sunshine. Winds do remain light, so we don't see much of a breeze adding to some wind chill into the end of the work week. Then as we get into the weekend again warmer weathers around the corner but it comes with a side of snow may see some flurries possible Saturday morning Sunday morning could have some light snowfall and then Monday is our best chance for some higher accumulations so these storm systems are coming in about 24 hours from each other and starting out very weak and then getting slowly stronger from there you can see the flurries into early Saturday then much of Saturday looks dry Saturday night a slightly stronger weather system works in but this is still on the weaker end so we don't see much for snow accumulation a lot of this coming through before sunrise Sunday and then that storm systems out quickly and then uh, Sunday night into Monday morning it's either tracking to the north or tracking to the south right through the state line that's the discrepancy between the storm track of Monday's storm but as you can see it hangs around for a little longer which is why we could see some slightly higher snow totals as for the weekend's temperatures up near 30 for Saturday then back down to the low 20s for Sunday Next week, Arctic cold is back. That's Tuesday into Wednesday as temperatures drop into the teens. In your most accurate 10-day forecast, we see another rise late next week to the point where we might try to get back to 30 degrees or warmer by the end of next week, William. Those are the times I'm really happy for that 10-day forecast, Alex. Thank you.